It's been one of those months. There are so many firsts going on in my life. I didn't imagine at 24 I'd be a virgin again. But honestly, house buying, mind-blowing. I mean, I'm looking to find a place in downtown San Francisco, preferably a two-bedroom house. And by two-bedroom house, I mean one-bedroom condo. And by one-bedroom condo, I mean likely a 800-square-foot efficiency studio situation overlooking a car wash. But all that set aside, at least I will have a space to actually sit that doesn't involve my kitchen in front of me doing videos for you guys. Dedicated time for that. Look, there's my super pro studio on my dining room table. Oh god, it's like Swamp Thing Kitchen Edition. Speaking of that time of the month, and that is the way wrong phrase. Speaking of time, it's that time of year again, Breast Cancer Awareness Month and also my birthday month. But you may be wondering what does breast cancer awareness have to do with you? Guys get breast cancer too. Just saying. But on an uplifting note, I figured that I would put myself in a calendar and that's another first, you guys. Pretty nervous about that, but also very excited. The calendar is going to feature a lot of hot girl geeks. It's called Girls of Geek, fittingly enough. And you can see the video that I made for that in the ethereal glowing box by clicking here. Hooray! Did I mention I will be wearing one of these? Modern age corsetry, baby. So here I was going back and forth between the place that I want to live in the city and the place that I live now, and all out of the blue, Revision 3 contacts me in San Francisco and says, hey, we hear that you like video games. Do you like X-Men? I'm like, and, and so they said, how would you like to come to our amazingly far beyond professional that you could possibly imagine studio and record a new Challenger episode with us? Um, yes, please. So I did. Last week, I hightailed my butt 90 some miles to get to the studio and recorded in this amazing technological bliss. It blew my mind, the whole experience, and I hope it'll blow yours as well. But there's only one way to find out, and that's after this clip. So I didn't exactly get fully into college, per se, uh -huh. but I did, um, I did take a ton of classes everywhere. Yeah. So, you know, you name it, psychology, um, sociology. I feel like the more colleges you take classes at, the better. Just take all the classes at all the colleges. All don't the classes. Finishing is... <laughs> Learning is a lifelong journey. Yeah, exactly. Know? Thank you. Yeah, I wish I would have absolutely. said that. That would have made me sound less lazy, right? I, uh, I read that on the back of a pamphlet for a community college that I dropped out of. Uh. <clears throat> you know that seldom occurring event in your life where the puzzle pieces just seem to fit and things are going like you hoped it would? Yeah, that's kind of happening right now. And I hope you don't mind. I'm going to take each and every one of you with me because I don't really know what my life holds in San Francisco, but I definitely want you guys to be there. So hope to see you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.